Hi folks, welcome back. Uh, so we're gonna to talk today about how to use the enlarger and make a contact sheet. So in class, uh, you learned how to develop your film and then how to cut your film up and put it in one of our negative carriers here. As you can see, I have all my film. Uh, my film is right reading, so I can read that this is Olford HP5+. Plus. Uh, and then my numbers are going from one all the way to 36 at the bottom here. So make sure that they're in order as well. So you're gonna need uh, your negatives in their sleeves, and you're gonna need your darkroom paper. Um, now, it's really dark um, in the darkroom, obviously by its name, um, so it's hard to film and show you folks all the things we're doing, as well as uh, using the light from the camera will um, negatively affect our paper. So I'm gonna be doing sort of a mock run with just some computer paper to show you folks, and then we're gonna cut to uh, the actual work outside of the document that's done, but I'm going to run you through just the process here. All right, so when you come to your station, um, you're going to notice a couple things. Um, we have two drawers. We have an empty drawer up top, and sometimes there is or won't be a little bin in here, um, which you'll be needing later when we talk about enlarging. But the bottom drawer is on these cabinets. Again, have that metal safe, light safe box. Um, so even though we work underneath um, light, uh, safe lights, um, it still can affect our darkroom paper. So uh, we always keep our darkroom paper away in the dark outside of any sort of light. Any visible light will affect this until we're ready to use it. So I'm going to put my darkroom paper down in there. Alright, so first things first. We want to check and see that our enlarger is working. Uh, so we need to turn it on, and we do that in two steps. Um, on this large box here, this is the power brick. You're going to see that we can turn this on, which I flipped it on. Um, and then we need to turn our darkroom timer on. So this is the most common darkroom timer we have in the lab, um, and it turns on via a switch on the back there. And turn that on, and you see the lights turn on. All right. So I want to see if the light turns uh, comes through the enlarger, so I'm going to hit the focus button, and the focus button is located on the very bottom here, so above this big button, you'll see on the bottom right, there is outlet time, and there's outlet focus. I'm going to turn on the outlet focus. When I hit that button, you'll see that we now have a rectangle of light coming down through the board here. All right. So when I'm making a contact print, um, I want this light to be able to shine all the way around my paper with extra space. Um, so some of you, you may need to adjust that. The way that we raise and lower the enlarger head is this yellow knob on the right side in the far back that's attached closest to uh, the channel post that it's attached to. So I'm going to loosen that up by pulling it towards myself. And you can see how I can now freely raise and lower, and you can see how the light changes there. So I'm going to, again, give myself lots of extra space around here. Tighten that back up by pushing it away from me so it doesn't move. Now I can't move it up and down. And then you see how we have a very soft edge on here. It might be hard for you to see on the camera, but we might have a soft edge on this rectangle. I'm going to do a broad um, focusing, so I'm going to use this big dial here that's attached from across. This is going to raise or lower. You can see how I go in one direction. It really sharpens up that edge. All right, so this is looking good. The last thing I'm going to check before doing a contact print is I'm going to check how much light is coming out of my lens here. So this is where our lens is on the outside. And this outside wheel spins so I can let more light out or stop it down. And you can see how that box gets dimmer and dimmer and almost disappears. So I don't normally go for the brightest. I usually go one step below the bright, and you feel that there's a little bit of a click in the enlarger too. So not super bright, um, but not very dim at the same time. All right. So when we're done, uh, I'm going to turn that light off just so, again, we save the, uh, the enlarger's life here as far as how long the, the lens in there is active for. Over in this station, we have all of these little 
folders. Inside of a folder, you'll find that we have a quarter inch piece of glass. If your glass is dirty, um, ask your instructor or the TA for the class to help you clean it and show you where the chemicals are and how to do that correctly. Um, there should also be a piece of cardboard in there as well. Uh, so whenever we're doing any sort of enlarging or contact printing, you take the whole folder with you. Um, this is like a little family, they live together. Um, and I like being in their pocket too, and I usually just set that off to the side in my station. So if I'm not actively using the glass or actively using the cardboard, it goes right back into the pocket here. It just makes sure, makes sure that they all stay the same uh, where they are and we don't break and drop the glass either.